Only a few hundred yards from the village church is the Bell Inn. This 700-year-old hostelry still welcomes travellers to its fine restaurant and bars. Visitors may think it curious to find rows of hot cross buns hanging from the old beams in the bar. What are they doing there? John Vereker has been landlord of the Bell Inn for over 30 years. Publican took over the Bell at Horndon in 1902 on a Good Friday and uh, they had a, uh, quite a beer up that particular Good Friday to celebrate coming into the pub and he decided to put a hot cross bun, the particular one is here, um, on the, to celebrate arriving in the pub. And uh, the following year, they carried on the tradition and decided that um, they would raise money for the oldest person that came into the pub on that day, and he would put the bun up in a ceremony. And this has been carried on ever since. Uh, we give away that day hot cross buns to all the people that come into the pub, um, and at one o'clock, the hot cross bun is ceremoniously put up onto the beam, as you can see in the background there, they are getting slightly bigger now. They are baked here in the village. But um, as an actual ceremony, it's only just a few minutes while the bun is put up, and I usually give a little chat on the personality for that year. Things, well, I'm not going to say anything about his military career, because I don't know, without talking to you about it, I wouldn't know that. But I'm going to say more about what was going on when your father was born. That's it. Uh, A little hush, thank you very much. Um, this year, 1991, we had hoped, and up to this morning, we thought that uh, Ernie Tinworth, who is our oldest customer, at 100 years of age, uh, three or four days ago, was going to put the bun up. It proves that our beer must be good if uh, <laughs> commercial. I can't help with this. So it's been a, for Ernie Tinworth, um, who has spent a, a good proportion of his life here in Horndon, uh, it's been a tremendous adventure, I think, from going from the horse-drawn times, and he can remember that right through to today where we're jets and people going to the moon. Okay. Would you like to say something about your dad before we... Yeah, well, I'm very fond of George, like that. Um, I would like to do this on behalf of my father. He's not able to get out of here. Thank you. George Tinworth ensuring that one of Essex's unique traditions continues.